Hello, welcome to another video. This is Pam with Old School Budgets and I'm coming to you with my debt update of my loan. I have some really, really great news to share. I am so, so, so excited. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Pam. I'm on a debt-free journey to um, pay off all my debt and become debt-free while saving for my retirement and having fun doing it. If this is something that you'd be interested in, please like and subscribe to my channel and watch my journey. If you've been here before, then you already know what this is. And I am um, I'm getting ready to share uh, some really great news. This is, uh, um, I have been saving $150 a month to pay off a loan that I had gotten years ago. Um, from State Farm off of an insurance policy. Well, since I was uh, working on my 100 envelope challenge, I uh, wasn't able to pay as much. And um, I'll just tell you. Okay. Last time I did a video, I had only paid $600. I only had gotten up to $600 with my payment. And then... Um, during April and May, I was working on my 100 envelope challenge, so I was only able to pay $400. So that brought that up to $1,000 as far as payments. Well, for Mother's Day, my son blessed me with a payment of $1,000. He said, Ma, I know you've been working on, you know, the roof and everything, and I just really wanted to just, just, relieve some of the stress off of you. So he, he says, well, what do you want from Mother's Day? I said, oh, baby, I don't want anything. I mean, you know, I don't know. We could just go and eat or whatever. He said, no, I'm not going to just take you out to dinner or just, you know, buy you a Pandora charm this year. I just want to do something really special. I said, no, you don't have to do anything. So this is what he did. He says, what about that thing with that thermometer? I said, that's just my little video that I'm working on to show everybody how to do, um, how to pay off your debt and go up and down at the moment. He said, well, I'm gonna give you $1,000 so that you can, um, to help toward paying this off. I said, are you sure? He goes, yeah, I'm sure. Yes, I am, I'm sure. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, you really don't have to, you know, you really don't have to, but I took it. So guess what? I paid $1,000 on this loan and now my balance is twelve hundred and nine dollars i went and i checked y'all last time i talked to those folks and the interest is just was going up for some reason or they gave me the wrong amount i don't know but it was three thousand and thirty seven dollars when i first started doing this then i went back and she said oh no it's actually you know 3209 and some change and i'm like well that's like an extra hundred and something dollars and she goes, well, I don't know where you got this number from. Well, I got it from y'all when I called, but that's okay. So right now, $2,000 has been paid on this particular bill. So I'm going to show you guys this bill because I'm excited. And I hid my agent's name. I hid the agent's name. You see that Pamela Hill, $1,000. And the balance is $1,209.30. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am so thankful. My son loves me, y'all. I am so, so thankful to be able to get to this point. You just don't know how long it took to just worry about this thing and worry about this thing. But I I did it. It's going. It's on its way. So right now, I owe $1,209.30 on this loan. So what I did was... I'm probably doing this track all wrong, but you know what? It don't even matter no more because I'm going to pay this one off this year as well. Um, this is $2,000 that has been paid on this particular loan. I, you just have to trust God, y'all. I know, you know, but you just have to, you just never know. You just have to trust and believe and do what's right by people. And your, your prayers will be answered. Don't give up. Don't stop trying. Just keep plugging at it. That's what I got. You see the bill. I'm thankful. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. So, I still owe $1,209, which is a lot, but it's not as much as it was. And I'm just going to keep on plugging at it. Again, y'all, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money until I get paid in June. 
That's why I'm doing this video. I ain't got none of this stuff. I'm just talking about it so I can get you updated on everything. So when June paydays come around, then we can rock and roll and we can stuff some cash. But right now, I just want to thank you guys for watching uh, me on this debt-free journey. It's been a long one. It's been a long one. These last few weeks, all I could do was just buy groceries, the essentials that I needed until I get to my first payday in June. It, it's just been, it's been a little tight, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm making it. It's only going to be, it's only a few more days. And June is also a magic month for me. So I'll get paid three times. So I'll get back to where I need to be. But you guys hang in there with your budget. Don't stop saving. Don't stop encouraging yourself. Don't stop talking about it. Don't stop believing because I did not know this was even going to be. And I am one step closer to really, really paying off this debt. And I'm just so, so thankful. Something that I will never do again. So guys, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next video. Bye.